What up guys, uh, I'm Jim Kirk and today we're going to be reviewing a lot of different options for uh, hip and butt and thigh protection. Uh, we get a lot of requests on this one, people want to know uh, what do I look for in a pair of padded shorts, uh, I need this covered, what short works for that, uh, do I want pants, do I want shorts, do I want just a tailbone protector, uh, so we thought we would make a video that kind of covers all of that. Uh, we're going to start with the, uh, with the Aspads tailbone protector, uh, not so subtle a name. And uh, to go with that, not so subtle protection, this thing is uh, pretty freaking good. Um, the main benefit to going with an option that's just a, a tailbone protector is that you can use your existing pair of uh, compression shorts, undies, boxers, whatever. Um, it fits a variety of different uh, needs. Um, the one that we found that people really like this for is uh, horseback riding and uh, uh, other, other needs like that. Um, you can also, if you wanted to, you could just use this to uh, go to a baseball game and sit a little bit more comfortably. Um, it's got some very comfortable, uh, lightweight foam uh, for you to sit on, and then a rigid tailbone protector uh, to protect yourself from falls and stuff like that. Um, very good option if you, again, if you want to use your existing pair of shorts. Um, next up, uh, for those of you who are concerned with wanting to stay comfortable, but also have a lot of uh, protection, uh, we usually recommend these bad boys. This is the Demon X D3O short, uh, so named for the D3O padding in the tailbone. Uh, for those of you not familiar with D3O, um, it's basically, it's not a foam, it's not a plastic, it's a, a dough that is so shock absorbent that it becomes rigid upon impact. Um, this thing, it doesn't look like much because I'm holding a, a medium here, but it covers pretty much your entire butt. Um, when it comes to snowboarding uh, and skiing, this is our number one uh, option. Uh, of course, it also features very lightweight mesh, very stretchy, very breathable. Um, you've got foam protection on the sides and back of your thigh, um, and, and this is a, a great option. Um, next up, I wanted to show you these. Uh, these are the Pocket Hip VPD 2.0 shorts. Uh, VPD is very similar to D3O. Um, again, it's a, a dough that becomes rigid upon impact. Uh, Pac has found that by layering the D3O, uh, you're able to get a little bit more um, flex out of them uh, than you have in, in past years. Um, these feature, it's hard to see in the video, but these feature basically three different pads. You've got a hip pad on either side, and then a tailbone on the back. Um, the tailbone's a little bit smaller, so for those of you wanting to use D3O or, or VPD for uh, mountain biking, this is the way to go. This pad will still protect your tailbone, but not get in the way of the saddle. Um, of course, these come in two different uh, versions. There's the ski version and the bike version. The only difference between the two is that the bike version has a chamois uh, to protect you from, from riding saddle. Um, these are, these are a little bit more uh, of a compression style short, not so much like a boxer like some of the other shorts. Um, so if that's something that you need to uh, you know, keep the blood uh, pumping properly, uh, this might be the way to go. Uh, <clears throat> next up, we've got a classic from uh, Troy Lee Designs. Uh, this is their BP7605 short. Um, if it's hip coverage that you need, if that's something that you're worried about and you also want to prevent uh, you know, some of the, the bruising and chafing that can occur just from riding your bike uh, with a saddle, um, this is going to be the way to go. Uh, I'm holding a pair of mediums, as you can see, and uh, your belt line is going to come right about here, and you've still got a good uh, four, three, three or four inches of padding above that. Um, it's going to cover you all the way up here um, and fit very comfortably. Um, the main benefit, though, to, in my opinion, is uh, this also has a chamois to protect against, against saddle bruising and chafing, as well as padding on the inside of the thigh uh, right here. Not something that is found too commonly, um, but something that a lot of people have requested and needed, uh, and Troy Lee Designs is here to fulfill that need. Last up, again, uh, a personal favorite, these are the Demon Shield BMX shorts. Um, what you got here is a, an adjustable waist. Uh, these are the only shorts uh, that I'm aware of on the market that feature a full-on adjustable belt sewn into the short. Um, if if customized, you know, your, your, your waist feel is something that's important to you, this is definitely going to be the way to go. Um, in terms of comprehensive coverage, this thing really has you covered. 
You've got a, a lightweight moldable plastic tailbone pad with foam on the inside. You've got two very high hip pads that again sit about just at the belt, um, a little bit above, and it wraps all the way around your hips. Uh, you've got protection on the outer part of your thigh, again with that plastic molding uh, and soft foam. And then you've got protection on the inside, uh, back side as well, uh, to, to keep your flanks nice and, uh, nice and tender. Um, again, this, uh, this short comes in two different versions. There's the BMX version with the chamois and the crotch, and then the regular version that does not feature that for sports like, uh, again, skiing and snowboarding. Those are some of the different options for you um, if you're looking to protect your, your butt and thighs. Um, again, feel free to ask us any questions you may have. Um, look for a lot of the hip protection, tailbone protection, and if, uh, if you're using these for, for mountain biking, get something that's got a little bit of padding on the inside of the thigh. Thanks for watching and uh, have a good one.